that they made 30 kilometers and it wasn't easy because sometimes it was really high back ice uh, and uh, it was really difficult but we did so I think uh, we have to sleep yeah and hopefully tonight the lead will freeze over and then we can cross uh, this lead is about 300 meters and uh, the ice is too thin at this stage. We've just walked about 35 kilometers today and uh, we're quite tired so we need a rest but we have to act very quickly now. We camped very close to the pack ice and it's starting to pack now. We've got about 150 meters of margin but uh, it's not packing too fast and the wind is not too strong so hopefully we'll be okay. The ice has been packing the whole night, so uh, hopefully we can uh, get through this quickly. And then to on the northern side, we're about 56 kilometers away from the pole. And uh, we ran into a lot of open water, so we're trying to cross the stretch now. It's frozen up a little bit, but it's moving quite fast. The ice is pretty thin. You can see it's broken up on small blocks, so it becomes fragile, it's not a mass anymore. And uh, with the conditions, the whiteout conditions, I can't see how far it actually really goes. So we can uh, try and get onto it and then uh, move, but it's not sure that we can come back here. Underneath this, uh, there's about not even a centimeter of ice. There's uh, about 4,000 meters of ocean. So if you fall in there, um, you're gonna take a while to hit the bottom. We went um, onto the thin ice and it started packing. I could feel the ice move beneath my feet. And every second some, something could happen. I, I, I could be there in the water in just one second. We just barely got out and now we, we hear it cracking. The, the, the whole pack of thin ice here, it's not, it's not stable. We can't ski over it, no way. It doesn't look uh, too good. Um, it's starting to pack. The plates are moving apart. We'll definitely be split up if we go six in a row. The time we cross the lead and when the ice starts packing, you have to make very quick and important decisions on your route. And if you don't know what you're looking for, then obviously it's going to become a bit of a problem. So I think that the safest for us now is nature is in front of us. We're 50 kilometers away from the pole. It's not worth taking the risk. Definitely not. Now it's the 12th of, of May and uh, it's about minus 25. And we've just uh, reached the end of our expedition. We managed to get to 79 degrees 30 minutes north, which is quite an accomplishment. The young explorers covered a distance of over 250 kilometers. And now we have to go back and try and find a landing spot for the plane to go and pick us up. I'm proud of all of them. Well done, guys. We're standing on the top of the world at 79 degrees 30 minutes, and we have reached the furthest north point of the Pangea. Magnetic North Pole Expedition.